If you are new to area of refuge systems, need a refresher before bidding an install, or gathering information before a building remodel, this is the video for you. Hey folks, I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to talk briefly about everybody's favorite topic, detailed requirements for an area of refuge system. Yay. In all seriousness, area of refuge systems may not be that exciting of a topic, but they do provide emergency communications for people who may require assistance exiting a building in an emergency, and so therefore they are extremely important. Area of refuge essentials are outlined for the most part by two federal codes or laws, the International Building Code and the Americans with Disabilities Act. These are massive works, so there are links in the description section to the key requirements. In addition to these federal requirements laid out by the IBC and the ADA, it's always a smart play to contact a local inspector because local and state laws and codes can be highly nuanced and vary from state to state and possibly even county to county. And they're likely going to have additional impact on your ADA requirement or your uh, area of refuge requirements. Finally, these regulations are not static. They seem to constantly be changing. In fact, they will probably be different by the time you're done watching this video. Hitting a moving target can be very frustrating. Here are a few key factors to keep in mind. Key factor number one, what is an area of refuge required? An area of refuge is required in new buildings in most renovations or remodels, especially when the building has more than one floor above ground. Key factor number two, how big does an area of refuge have to be? This is a great question. It draws a ton on your local building codes. The size of the building and the designated use can also affect sizing requirements for the area of refuge. Key factor number three, what devices need to be installed into an area of refuge? An emergency two-way communication system that meets ADA standards needs to go into every area of refuge with accompanying signage. One hack that I don't see a lot of people taking advantage of, but it is a great way to cut down on costs, make installation very simple, that is utilizing your existing communication systems. A lot of times I will see area of refuge installers who are looking only at the standalone, dedicated, proprietary systems that are extremely expensive and frankly duplicate quite a bit of the existing communications infrastructure. Sometimes they don't know they can even use, you know, the, an existing telephone system or an IP phone system for area of refuge. You don't necessarily have to migrate to that, you know, standalone expensive proprietary system. There are very simple methods of meeting these codes and standards. It, it can be straightforward and simple and cost effective. It can integrate with the systems that you already have in place. Recently, Viking put together the Essential Area of Refuge Checklist. It includes common solutions and mistakes to avoid as you're going about your area of refuge system design and setup and installation. There is a link to that checklist in the description section down below, and we want to give that to you for free. So if you check out the description section, put your email in there, we will send you a link so you can download this checklist and use it again and again. We consistently post product information, industry updates, and technical content for installers and distributors. So if you're not subscribed to the Viking Electronics YouTube channel, Please click subscribe now and hit the bell to get all of our updates and video releases. If you are subscribed, thank you very much. We appreciate that. It matters to us. I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. The, the commitment it took for you to click on that subscribe button. And I mean, some of you even went above and beyond and hit the bell. It just, it, I can't put into words how much it means to me that you took time out of your day to just just hit that button. It, I, oh, thank you.